the Peter Principle was based on a book of the same name from 1969, and the book proposed that organizations in kind of a self-defeating process took people who are good at their jobs and rewarded them by changing their jobs. They made them into managers. And in the most kind of skeptical and pernicious and uh, and perhaps pessimistic version of the theory, people get promoted until they're ultimately incompetent in their jobs and they're stuck there. Uh, so Peter principles sometimes referred to as people rise to the level of incompetence. So what we do in the data is we actually find that it's not that great salespeople become good managers, it's that great salespeople actually become the relatively poor managers and the people who are promoted, notwithstanding being a relatively poor salesperson, actually became some of the best managers that we saw in the data. And so this is a very puzzling uh, uh, result, kind of opposite of what you might expect. And, uh, and the big thing that we concluded from analyzing the data is it could be that, uh, that organizations are really prioritizing promotions really as an incentive but in so doing, they're losing the ability and they're losing the willingness to promote people because they'd be the best managers. And one of the things that organizations are doing is they're using techniques such as broadbanding in conjunction with dual career ladders so that you can say, okay, well, an engineer who's an individual contributor is, can be at the roughly the same level of pay and prestige as an engineer who goes up that management track. That way, you're keeping people uh, we're promoting people who are good at their jobs without necessarily having to change their jobs. I think another, uh, a second approach that companies can use to avoid the Peter Principle is through uh, evaluation tools that separate performance from uh, career potential and promotion pot potential. So one thing, that you, one thing that you can do is if someone is successful at their jobs, giving them a larger bonus, uh, for example, um, one, one evaluation technique is called nine box where companies are rated on their, where people, companies rate employees on their performance and then they give them a bonus if they are successful at their job. Um, and then they also rate them on their uh, potential and their promotion potential. And in those cases, they might take these employees and instead give them a promotion to a management job. So that way you're saying that you can, you can get higher pay by, uh, by excelling at your current job or instead you can uh, get promoted and get a higher base pay if you are successful, uh, if you become successful as a manager.